accomplished on Monday. Max Rude, the extra defenseman from Minnesota. Up the wing to Bryce Brodzinski, trying to split Colonials. It's tipped in near Belchery. He directs it to Lund. Now back in the circle. It's that man again. Mason Nevers. Oh, am I happy. <laughs> I am so happy. His teammates are happy for him. Look at him. His first goal of the year. He had a great opportunity last night on a breakaway. Was stymied and has had a lot of great chances this year. This time, he makes no mistake. Beats Veltry right under the glove. In the right-hand corner. Another Colonial came in and got a, got a shot off, but it, it certainly could have been worse had it not been for the relentless back shot of, of Sam Renzel. Board battle on the near side. Oliver Moore prying in there. Got it to Kester at the point. Kester to his left. To the net. Scores! First of the year for Kester. 2-0 Gophers. Well, a couple of firsts tonight. A couple of firsts from your older players, and Mike Kester just waited and waited. Veltri went down, and he started to sneak a little bit to his left. That opened things up over the shoulder, and Mikey Kester waited and put it in. Fired in by Robert Morris. Thomas tracked it down over to Brody Lamb. Hugelin stops on a dime. He hits Renzel with a pass. Renzel, Kurth, Huglin, oh. scores! No, they wave it off. Whoa. Goaltender interference, it appears. No goal on the play. Minnesota in the crease. And that will send us to timeout. We'll sort it out after this. 2-0 Minnesota. Huglin was denied a goal a few moments ago upon review, and now another Huglin shot is under scrutiny. Yeah, and I think they're going to change this to a good goal. I think so, too. They call Brady Lamb, Brody Lamb in the, in the crease. Watch it. No puck. He gets out of the crease, and Huglin actually fanned on that shot, and it went under the pad of Miltry. The initial call on the ice was a man in the crease, that man Brody Lamb, and... After review, the call on the ice is overturned. We have a good goal. And and this guy deserves it. Yes. And, uh, uh, the, the way he's played tonight, Aaron Hublin gets his fourth of the season. Some great passing going into the zone. And you. <laughs> He might tell you the wraparound was prettier. Yeah, oh, but no doubt. This and, one counts. And Connor Kurth with a great feed to it. Moves in. Gives to Renzel. Pit like a shot wide. He said, and now a three on one for Robert Morris. We'll get to it eventually. Zacher 
Good passing. Loose. They score. Walter Zacker. A three on one. And Robert Morris on the board. Yeah, unfortunate play there. Minnesota got caught in the offensive zone. You see, you got four Minnesota guys back and a three on one here for the Colonials. And that first save is made by Close and forcing. And, you know, I talked to Ben Gordon about this. He said, you know what? We just make the simple plays. We're going to get our chances. So, you know, you try to get too cute there. You go between the legs and try to get the puck on net, get a shot, you know, wait for a rebound. Snuggerud scores! There's the goal to extend the lead, 4 to 1. And guess what? A pretty simple play. Get the puck over the blue line. Get the puck on the right hand of the goal scorer. Red Pitlick to Jimmy Snuggerud. Gets to the top of the circle. Let's it go. Beats Veldry to the 